What are thermoplastics? Thermoplastics are made up of polymers. Polymers are long chains of molecules that usually consist of covalent bonds between hydrogens and carbons. Polymers can be branched into linear structures. A polymer that contains only hydrogen and carbon is called a hydrocarbon. Plastic polymer molecules can also contain elements such as oxygen, chlorine, fluorine, nitrogen, silicon, phosphorus, and sulfur. Due to the long chain structure, polymers can be thousands to millions of atomic mass units. For example, PVC piping, a common household plastic, contains polymers with chlorine. Silly putty is a good example of a polymer that contains silicon and oxygen. Note that the stronger the intermolecular forces in the polymer, the tougher the plastic is. Epiphany! Silicon? Silly putty? Is that a coincidence? I think, I think not. not. <laughs> Physical properties of thermoplastic. Thermoplastics have very low electrical and thermal conductivity. This makes them very good electrical insulators. They are available in various colors and transparencies. They're ductile and malleable. They're water resistant and they have low density. They're also synthetic material. It's important to note that there's many different forms of plastics with varying properties. Most thermoplastics also have a high melting point and low solubility in most solvents. Plastics are derived from materials found in nature. Gas, which originally comes from crude oil. Coal. Oil. and crude oil. Joke break! <laughs>
heat compression converts the polymers into monomers. The long chain polymers are broken down into the short chain monomers under heat and pressure. Plastics can also be broken down through photo-induced degradation. During this process, polymers are attacked by ultraviolet rays and turned into monomers. Another way that light breaks down thermoplastics is through photolysis. Photolysis is when chemical compounds are broken down by photons. Thermoplastics can also be broken down by oxidation. That's when polymers are attacked by atmospheric oxygen, especially at elevated temperatures. Biodegradation is the longest of the degradation processes. It's when microorganisms such as fungi and bacteria break down organic thermoplastics. Joke break! <laughs> We use plastics in our everyday lives. Just think about all the plastic that's inside your home. Plastics are actually more harmful to our economy than we perceive. The environmental costs are not even calculable. Plastics are doing more damage than they are good. Think about how much money it'll cost to fish all that plastic out of the ocean. One main economic benefit of plastics is that it can be recycled. By recycling plastic, it reduces the cost of materials for new goods. The reason that we have so many plastics today is because it's easy and convenient, exactly what humans want. If you don't recycle your plastic, it will end up in the landfill. Historically, many eras were characterized by the materials that were important to human society. For example, the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, and the Iron Age. The 20th century had lots of names dubbed to it, like the Oil Age or the Nuclear Age. However, the best name is likely the Plastic Age. Take a look at this graph. Joke break! <laughs> Environmental statistics. 18 billion pounds of plastic flows into our oceans from coastal regions every year. 50% of the plastics we use is used once and then thrown away. Enough plastic is thrown away each year to circle the earth four times. 100,000 marine animals are killed every year from plastic ingestion. Sea turtles are consuming extensive amount of plastic bags, thinking they are food. Virtually every piece of plastic ever made still exists in some shape or form, with the exception of the small amount that has been incinerated. The Lifespan of Thermoplastics
Chip bags last for 80 years. Plastic water bottles last for 450 years. A styrofoam cup lasts for 50 years. A plastic bag will last for 10 to 100 years. A detergent bottle will last for 500 to 1,000 years. A plastic beverage holder will last for 400 years. Chemistry is used industrially every day. We thought plastic was a good research topic because it applies to almost every aspect of human life. It's important to know where your plastic comes from and where it goes. I hope this video enlightened you on the chemical and physical makeup of thermoplastics and how they degrade. And remember, reduce the amount of plastics you consume, reuse as much plastic as you can and purchase reusable items, and recycle the plastic instead of sending it to the landfill. Note that there is extremely complex chemistry attached to studies surrounding thermoplastics. For the sake of keeping things simple, we chose to show a more panoramic view versus a narrow angled view on our topic.